favorite apps. There are currently over 100,000 applications for the iTouch. I've selected a dozen of my favorites and included the links where to find even more. I'll start with the free application called Stanza. Stanza is an app you can use to read ebooks, newspapers, and blogs. There's a desktop downloader which allows you to wirelessly add material to your iTouch, like a PDF or other book. This is one of the most useful apps that I've found for my iTouch. A related application is Amazon's Kindle app. It allows you to buy ebooks directly from the Amazon Kindle store and sync them with your Kindle or the desktop reader. It's worth noting that Amazon now owns Stanza, so I imagine that many of the features will be com combined into one app. Next is the Google Mobile application. This app includes links to Gmail, Calendar, Docs, Tasks, News, and more. Many aspects of my digital workflow go through Google Apps. Since most of these services require an active internet connection, there are two others I use to supplement Google Apps. Memos provides a way to create and edit Google Docs offline and then sync them later. And RSS Flash G provides an offline feed reader for Google Reader. The next application is Skype. Skype is a voice over the internet service that allows calls to be made from the iTouch and works very much like Skype on the desktop. You'll need a special set of earphones with a microphone built in to use. I've included a link to this set in the show notes. The next application is Recorder. It records audio into the iTouch and allows you to sync the audio wirelessly. You type an address from the application into a browser on a computer that's on the same network and then you can download those files immediately. You'll also need to plug in a microphone. I found that the Thumbtack mic works well. Another useful application is Dropbox. This app works with your desktop or laptop and creates a single web-based folder that's accessible by all of them. I use it to quickly send screenshots from the iTouch to my laptop. First I turn on the iTouch and then I take a snapshot by holding the home button and the power button at the same time. I open up Dropbox, click on the photo icon in the upper right hand corner and find that photo. This will now sync with my laptop, desktop, or whatever machine I have that has the Dropbox application. Another useful application is AirMouse. This app is a remote control for a computer that's on the same Wi-Fi network. It has four screens for various functions, one for the web, iTunes, custom, and a QWERTY keyboard. You do need to download a small application to run on your machine. Another helpful application is Dictionary. Please note the exclamation point in the title because there are a number of dictionary applications on the iTouch. The reason I like this one particularly is because it downloads locally onto the machine and it's free. Finally, StoryKit is a fun story creation application. It allows students to create stories with text, audio, and drawings right on the iTouch. They'll need a microphone to record audio, but when completed, they can share the story online directly. We've had more success using the Brushes application as the image creator, which easily imports into StoryKit. Links to all these applications and other resources can be found at tinyurl.com slash itouch in education.